Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about points of discontinuity and domain of a rational function. If we look at this graph, this graph is broken in two places. It's broken right here at x equals negative 3. Broken at x equals negative 3. And this right here is an open dot <clears throat> at x equals negative 1. So we see there's two places in which we would have to pick our pencil up in order to draw the graph. We call those points of discontinuity. So points of discontinuity are places where the graph is not continuous. Or broken. The domain in this case, if we were to refer to the graph, the domain would be all of these x values included in the graph. And all of the x values are included in the graph except this vertical asymptote and this hole. We'll talk about vertical asymptotes and holes more in the next video. So the domain is the x values included in the graph. Also the ones that work with the equation, the ones that will not give us zero in the denominator uh, if we plug them back in. So how to find the points of discontinuity in the domain? We want to factor everything, both numerator and denominator. And in this case, we're going to set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. The points of discontinuity are also the excluded values. Remember, we talked about excluded values before. Excluded values were the ones that gave us zero in the denominator. We said we have to exclude those. But when we refer to those on a graph, that's where the graph would end up being broken. The domain is all real numbers except the points of discontinuity. So if we were to factor the numerator of our example here, x squared minus 3x, we can divide that by an x. We're left with x minus 3. The denominator, we can divide by 4. We're left with x squared plus x minus 6. We factor that again. What can we multiply to get negative 6 that adds to give us positive 1? And that would be positive 3 and negative 2. So our points of discontinuity, I'm going to abbreviate those POD. Uh, we said x plus 3 equal to 0. We solve for x. So we subtract 3 from both sides. We get x equals negative 3. We would do the same thing for uh, x minus 2. We would set it equal to 0. We would add 2 to both sides. So we get x equals 2. The domain, we need a statement representing the domain. The domain is every single number except those two. So we can write that as all real numbers except x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. x squared plus x, we can divide by an x. We're left with x plus 1 x squared minus 4x, we can also divide by an x, and we're left with x minus 4. If we were simplifying, these x's would cross out. We'll talk about what that means in the next video. So we get two uh, points of discontinuity in this case. The one obvious one is the x minus 4. That's x equals 4. But then we see this x. This x implies that it's really like x plus 0, if we want to look at it that way. So x equals 0 would be our other point of discontinuity. Our domain would be all real numbers except the two points of discontinuity. In this case, x equals 4 and x equals 0.